नमस्कार बाल आपस टुडे दिस इज एन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ दैट आदमी जीवन का फिफ्थ लेवल दैट इज फॉर एडल्ट्स दैट आई स्पोक अबाउट द रिलेशनशिप इश्यूज स्पेशली व्हेन दे एडल्ट अटेंड एंड देयर दे ग्रेस सेशन द हस्बैंड एंड वाइफ रिलेशनशिप स्टार्ट्स सो टुडे टुडे इन मेनली द मेट्रोपॉलिटन सिटीज मेनी पीपल मे बी ऑब्जर्व दैट मेनी ऑफ द यंग मैरिड कपल्स where both are educated in very short period <coughs> they break the relationship and go to the court for divorce some people have got children some people without children they go for mature divorce and split and they get married somebody so like this things are happening <coughs> see marriage is uh, <coughs> made in heaven is it to say krishna shama is a very <coughs> Uh, well, what you call the uh, important uh, period in life of a human being, uh, where one must learn about the <coughs> family life, the karma sastra, all these things are there to learn. Because as you say, even Adi Sankara, when he was going on the uh, street change in Sanjayta, one lady asked him, "Do you know about karma sastra?" So immediately, since he has attained Brahm, from Brahmacharya to Grahastha. and yes he didn't know about kama sastra grah sastra so he took <coughs> he entered he did this uh, parakaya pradesham he, uh, he left his atma from his body and entered into a dead uh, king who is a bogi and from him he learned uh, about uh, the kama sastra what is the husband relationship and how we have to lead a samsarik life all these things are learned. so that's why in vedas what is it one has to pass through all these four stages of life brahmacharya grahastha vana prasa sanyasa grahastha vana the important period when one when he enters in the life of war that is part of life there they they the great experiences there actually the kurukshetra war starts where the arrows from all sides will hit especially arrow from wife arrow from husband wife to husband husband to wife and from the relationships that is my faces uh, arrows from her father in law father in law her sister in law all this way. so i have to fulfill the duties as a wife as a daughter as a <coughs> daughter in law as a sister in law all these things one has to fulfill perfectly similarly for male as a husband as a father as a brother as a son as a <coughs> Sanil Lal, all these duties were asked to fulfill perfectly. But today, why the educated people are going to the court at very young age? This is mainly because the ego is the main factor that is responsible for people to not understand each other. Ego puts like a break, <coughs> a opega, <coughs> opega uh, enclosure where one doesn't realize their problems. and they don't understand others uh, <coughs> sentiments and others feelings uh, which is leading to a create a rupture and cause go to the extent of uh, <coughs> they have to put an end to this uh, relationship and go to divorce so as per a relationship in the sense uh, why this is happening in human being because as i told you in this manomaya kosha we have this buddhi and inside that that conscious mind which is talk is talking and subconscious mind is that In the subconscious mind, the past experiences are stored in this, and the negative experiences are like aberrations in the uh, stored in the subconscious mind. This is reflected when we face situations in our life. Right? That situation, as when it reflects, uh, in the Manipura Chakra, we have that gunas. Uh, so our gunas, each person has got their own gunas. Uh, some person is extrovert, some person is introvert, some person always get jealous, some person always get anger, some person is very egoistic, very proud. is <coughs> like that each person has got different uh, kinds of uh, a mixture of uh, good uh, characters a mixture of a different kinds of habits one one has got this is all because of the past experiences stored in subconscious mind good experiences lead to success bad experiences create aberrations in the subconscious mind which is the cause for the <coughs> negative gunas in the person so when you when you talk about relationship with husband and wife as per the They, they may be love marriage they may have arranged marriage they even love marriage what happens uh, when they love at that time they only see body body consciousness and body mind consciousness to the extent they live 
So that means once he is the male is the body of the female, male female is the body of the man. So the mind immediately gets attracted by the body. So this body attraction that is mainly we, we call it as infatuation or dengue when the when the boy and girl get loved love each other. It's mainly infatuation. Maybe over a period uh, that infatuation makes them to get that uh, all obsession about uh, between between each other. And that obsession leads to getting getting their marriage. I've seen a lot of people at a very young age, at school age, all in college age, they get immediately at, get attracted and they <coughs> give up their family and go and run away and get married by themselves. And after that, uh, once they have a sexual relationship uh, and they <coughs> and they get the children, after that, when they have to enter the family life and they, when they when they begin to see the financial issues. Uh, the wife asks for food, uh, uh, milk for the kind of, she asks to take the uh, uh, hospital for medicine or uh, treatment or other things. At that time, he don't have proper source because he, he didn't focus on his studies or employment. Because at the young age, they loved each other and they married. So the, 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 the thing what happened, for simple things, you are always asking for money, they go for fight always. So until they get, though they love each other, now after marriage and after having two kids, uh, those two kids, <coughs> Always, every day there is a fight, and this fight leads man to he loses his uh, peace of mind. So he go to drink. So he, he get in touch with other women. Like this, the things are happening which I am seeing every day and every day. And then, finally, he leaves this lady and run away with somebody else. This is what is happening in the lower level. But as the educated level, what they do, they go to the extent of going for divorce. So like this is happening because. So, only at the body body and mind body consciousness level they think and uh, they are not uh, going deep into the atma conscious level so this past expression past uh, experiences daily experiences and the negative gunas uh, <coughs> which the husband has got and the wife has got her own past experience past negative experience negative gunas uh. when these two are clashing each other what happened he didn't and uh, he didn't accept her uh, attitude, her behavior. And if she didn't accept her attitude, his attitude will be her. So there is a clash between them. So, if one, if one remains there itself, so they lose that uh, understanding between each other. And there is a clash every day. So, what, I, what one should do, do to lead a peaceful life is, uh, <coughs> this subconscious man and Buddha, sir, and these senses, what we sense in the sense, when we see each other, for silly things, sir, we get uh, anger. And why you are doing like this? All these things. Sir. The senses drags you to the ego. What is ego? Ego is sir, ignorance. You only see the externally as uh, body, and uh, you are seeing. Uh, you are not understanding your mind. So you only have go, you are going to go around prejudices. So you want the wife to be according to as you wish. And similarly, the wife thinks she wants her according to her wish, her husband should be. And both of them, they don't want to give up. They are rigid in their behavior, they are rigid in their thoughts, they are rigid in their actions. So the result, of, both are getting ruptured. And this is a cause for fight among themselves. This is one day, person in the form of a <coughs> So what they have to do is, this mind mind consciousness, if they have to come, mind mind consciousness, means one should understand the other man's uh, feelings. What other man, one should respect the other person's. So, the buddhi, is, <coughs> it has to cleanse all the negative aberrations in subconscious mind so that the negative gunas will vanish. As a result, the senses see the person in the right perspective and the ego then vanishes. So for that, the buddhi has to be taken to <coughs> the atma conscious level. So buddhi, once it crosses, as I told you, buddhi is there, senses is there, ego is there, atma is there. So, when the, when the senses, uh, when the buddhi is brought to the atma conscious level, what happens? <coughs> you see the other person as atma. So why this bondage has come, you will understand. So today, I am, I am bonded to my wife. Why? Because this bondage is the root, is the pathway for me to release my karmas. Similarly, for her, 
the hair bondage with me is far hard to lose a canvas. The children we get is the bondage through which by fulfilling our duties release our canvas. This bondage is leads to duties. And once we do the duties, what happens? Our canvas gets released. So all the relationships that we get in our life uh, is only the pathway for us to release our karma. This consciousness comes to the Buddha only when it comes to the Atma conscious level. So once you come to the Atma conscious level, then you understand. Today I got married with, with this wife. Why she is arrogant? Why she is not accepting my points? Sir? So if you have negative things, you have to correct yourself. Similarly, you have to show the love and affection towards her. So that, that love and affection, suppose even if somebody, if she is raising voice, you remain calm. She, when she sits alone, or even if you raise voice, she is remaining calm. So she, <coughs> when you remain calm, this is positive. When somebody is raising voice against you, negative. So when negative is negative, it will repulse. A negative positive will attract. So what happens? When you are silent, immediately she will think, oh, he's silent. So, he's <coughs> so let me also come down. So like that, uh, if one has to, if both begin to have negative thoughts, negative actions, there, there won't be any end. So if one is negative, another should be positive. In the sense, if somebody is shouting, so you have to understand. So first, somebody, one of them, husband and wife, should, should go to the Atma conscious level to realize the truth that the other person is bonded with me to release my karmas. So if I fight, then I am adding more karmas to me. I have to do my duty to her. In this life, by doing my duty, one of the duties is to love her. I have to understand her feelings. I have to understand what her problems are. And try to find solution with full love and affection. When you show love and affection, this is the positive. Then, even if she is negative, the love and affection you show, even if she rejects it initially, slowly, slowly, slowly she starts accepting your love. And she also begins to show love on you. So, when there is a rupture between husband and wife, First thing, one of them should go deep inside themselves. So that's why where this Atma Siddhi Yoga, the fifth level, will help one to take to the Buddhi to the Supreme <coughs> Atma Conscious level and go to the Supreme Conscious level also, as I told you. So one has to go to, by doing the Chanti Mantra Om and come to the Atma Conscious level. The more you go deep inside, what happens? Your mind gets refreshed, your mind gets clarity, a perfect uh, refined and this refinement what brings uh, first you have to cleanse all your negative the negative aberrations subconsciously this automatically removes the negative of gunas in the manipura and then the ego has to be cleansed in the senses automatically the negativity goes and you see everything positive by going into the <coughs> atma conscious level so atma conscious level will make both the husband and wife, if they go to the Atma conscious level, what happens? Each of them see the other person with a divine outlook. Other, both of them will begin to understand each other. The mind-mind consciousness, mind-soul consciousness, and soul-soul consciousness happens. So what happens? Even if we commit mistakes, she forgives him. Even she commits, he forgives. So forgiveness, kindness, love, again, love towards each other, this brings, uh, they, it removes the hatredness among themselves misunderstanding between among themselves and the common is everything. So they can live together <coughs> with full love and affection and show the same love and affection to their children and they can live happily. So the understanding, so Asma Siddhi Yoga, how it helps uh, between the, to maintain the harmonious relationship with Asma Yoga is to first cleanse the subconscious mind, all the aberrations. I told you, you have to take the Kundalini Shakti by Chaitanya Om Shakti Take your Shakti through your Ida Pingala Sushumna Nadis. These three Nadis are there, or spinal. Through that, you take a deep breath, take the Kundalini Shakti along with Atma to the subconscious, <coughs> to your <coughs> brain, head, Sansara Chakra. Cleanse all the negativity in the subconscious brain. So, this one, after cleansing it, you go to Manipura Chakra. Here you go to Guna's legs. Take a deep breath and go to the gunas. Cleanse all the negative gunas. And now come to ego. Cleanse all the negativity of the ego. Then senses. And now proceed to Atma consciousness. So after cleansing all the negativity, you go to Atma consciousness level and remain there. Once you practice this, that is, 
removing all negative aversions, subconsciousness, removing negative gunas, removing your ego and removing the negativity of your senses and finally merging in the Atma conscious love. This you practice and make your wife to practice. If once you know the value of it and once you experience the value of it, naturally what happens? You <coughs> both understand, the understanding between husband and wife grows. There will be pure love and affection between the husband and wife and there will be a harmonious relationship in the family. And the same show the love and affection toward the parents, toward the children, and the entire family will have a happy and peaceful life. So practice this and see that you live a harmonious, peaceful, happy life. Thank you.